Heavenly Father, God, I ask that you would increase and me decrease, Lord God. Let the clock stay still so I can get through my message. Amen. Amen. So we got a lot of reading to do. Okay, the clock is going to stay still. Amen. <laughs> okay. We're going to Matthew chapter 24. Okay. And we're going to read verse 1 to 3. Now, most of the time in Matthew chapter 24, the people are talking about the rapture. But when studying this chapter, you may realize that Matthew is portraying Jesus as the king of the Jews. Now, in reading verses 1 to 3, there's two questions that the disciples are asking. What and when will he set up his kingdom? And see, the Jewish people of that day, um, they were looking for a king. Amen? Because they were under Roman rule. So they wanted a kingdom to be established. And verse 1, it says, And Jesus went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple and Jesus said unto them seek ye not all these things verily I say unto you there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down and as he said upon the Mount of Olives the disciples came unto him privately saying tell us when shall these things be and that shall be the sign of the coming and the end of the world see the temple um, was torn down in 70 AD. And the temple was the life of the Jewish people. And telling the, the, the Jewish people, the disciples, I'm sorry, that the temple was going to be destroyed, that was upsetting them. Because this was their life. So, in uh, Matthew chapter 24, throughout this chapter, Jesus is giving them signs um, to show them what will happen. Now remember at this point in the books, Jesus has not revealed the rapture. The rapture comes later on and is revealed through Paul. So Paul receives a revelation about the rapture. So in Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, I know that's not my time up already. <laughs> I hear something beeping, but no, it can't be. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> so Paul um, receives a revelation about the rapture and Corinthians and Thessalonians and also John and Revelations. So in some of the background settings in Matthew, um, I got confused with the time now. Okay, Matthew 24 verse 42 is my verse and it says, watch therefore for you do not know the hour your Lord is coming. Amen? But I like to read it a little bit different. I will start off saying for... For you do not know the hour your Lord is coming. Watch therefore. The conclusion is watch therefore. Amen? So it's telling us to be on alert to be alert of situations that are going around, going around in the world today. But we're to look at the scripture, we're not to look at the world. Amen. Okay? We need to know what the scripture has said so we don't be deceived because in chapter 24 in Matthew, it talks about not being deceived. Okay, so we're to be on alert and we're to know what the scripture says. Because remember, scriptures interpret scriptures. So let's look at verses 36 to 41 real quick. Okay, everybody has it? Yes. Amen. But on that day, the hour know of no man, no, the man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as in the days of no, was so also the coming of the man of son of man be. For in the days that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving into marriage until that day. No entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. Then shall two be in the field, and one be taken, and the other one left. 
two women should be grinding at the mill and one should be taking and the other left. Amen. So here is telling us we still can go about our business. We still can go to school. We still can work. We still can make plans. We still can go on vacation. We can do all these things, but we still need to be mindful of the scriptures and what God is saying to us. Amen. So we're to be a master over the word so that we can't be deceived. Amen. And another example, a bank teller is a master over money. They know when somebody's giving them a counterfeit bill. A baker, a baker knows when their flavors are off in the batter. Amen. A doctor knows when a patient is sick just by looking at their eyes or hearing their breathing. So we need to be a master over the word of God. Amen. That's our craft to be a master over. So what happened with the man and the woman that was taken or they were destroyed or judged? And Luke chapter 17, verse 27. Luke chapter 17, 27. It gives another account of the days of Noah. And it says, they did eat, they drink, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day when Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. So, the man and the woman that was taken away was judged. Those that were left was left there for the kingdom, which God came back. I'm out of time. <laughs>